briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In California, XRL in California Department of Toxic Substances Control, v. Neville Chemical Company, a 2004 case heard by the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit, the state of California sued Neville Chemical for contaminating the groundwater and soil at its Santa Fe Springs industrial facility. The court focused on when California's right to sue began under the Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation and Liability Act, CERCLA, and whether Neville Chemical could use equitable defenses to avoid liability. In 1986, the California Department of Toxic Substances Control issued a Remedial Action Order, RAO, to Neville Chemical. In 1989, they informed the company of its obligation to pay an activity fee for overseeing their actions to remediate the site. However, the department only pursued full cost recovery in 1992. The court ultimately decided that the statute of limitations for bringing an initial suit for recovery of remedial action costs could not accrue until after the final adoption of the Remedial Action Plan, RAP, required by the statute. Therefore, California could sue Neville Chemical for cleanup costs under CERCLA, and equitable defenses could not be used to avoid liability. Neville Chemical's motion to amend the complaint to allege a violation of equal protection under the California Constitution was denied due to insufficient allegations of unfair prosecution. The court upheld the district court's decision ruling that Neville Chemical had not sufficiently alleged that it was deliberately singled out for prosecution based on a criterion unrelated to legitimate law enforcement objectives. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.